Hello again everybody. Today I'm going to talk to you about paintbrushes. Now, um, this video is going to be mainly for those people who are looking at doing DIY at home. Um, it's definitely not for the master painters. But um, a little bit about paintbrush choice. You go to Bunnings or Mitre 10 or wherever and there are paintbrushes there from $3 to $50. So you've got to think, well, what's the difference? Well, I'm here to tell you that most painters use, well, the ones that I've worked with anyway, a paintbrush like this. And this here is the Unipro Sash Brush 75mm. Or a similar brush. Um, this is a Monarch Advanced brush. It's um, $34 and it has, it's a more of a wall brush, whereas this is a sash cutter. So the difference between these two brushes is this one has a big long handle, this one has a little handle. But why is there a price difference? When I hold these sideways, you can see the difference between a $10 brush and a $30 brush. I started painting with this brush, it's pretty good to paint with, but as the more and more I painted, I started to realize that it doesn't pick up enough paint to put onto the wall. Uh, let, me, let me explain it to everyone. So when you brush, you dip it into your paint pot, then you put the paint onto the, for example, if you're cutting in the ceiling um, or any wall, just you put it on the top and then you brush it sideways you push it up to the line that you want to paint to. Um, if the brush doesn't pick out enough paint, you can only do a small sectional wall before you run out of paint. A big brush like this thick uh, Monarch here um, allows you to pick up a lot more, lot more paint and draw a longer line. I can almost do, um, I'd say, uh, about a meter and a half with one dip of this brush. So that's the main difference. However, what does happen is when this is loaded, it does become very heavy. So for someone who um, is looking at just doing their house, hasn't really painted too much before, I would recommend this brush here. It is only, I think it's 10, 10, 11 dollars of Bunnings. Okay, that's the one you're looking for. It is, it does pick up a heap of paint and it doesn't become too heavy to use. Also, the longer handle, some most people seem to prefer a longer handle. You can, um, allows you to hold it a little bit lower to do a little bit more of a reach. Um, but those of you who have longer hands, allow, allows you, it's more of, a, more of a pencil, whereas this, these ones, they're more of a, it's very short. I prefer these, but it, it is shorter. In terms of the, the width is the other one. People get scared off by wide brushes. A lot of painters paint with a 75 mil or um, some do with a hundred mil. Um, all wall painting brushes, I would definitely try to stick with one of these. Some, some of you who are new to painting, I would go with a 63. Here's a brand new 63 Monarch Advance that I have. I think that, again, it's about a $30 brush. It's a 63 mil. It's a good compromise between not being too, you know, doesn't. it's not too scary, but it's not too scary, but it's also wide enough. Uh, if you do have the money, again, you know, wider, more paint does become heavy. You will get a sore um, sooner or later with this brush. Um, but yeah, very good brush, the uh, Monarch Advance. What you do want to stay away from is using a cutting in, uh, using a, a trim brush to do your walls. Okay, that's going to take forever. This is a, a 50 mil um, trim brush. It's a Spitfire. Spitfire, um, I get mine from Inspirations. I'm pretty sure you can get them at Bunnings as well. Uh, again, about a $12 brush. $12 seems to be the price that you should pay for a good brush. Um, anything less than that, I'll explain in a minute. So this this um, trim brush is for doing your architraves, doing your window frames, um, doing your um, cutting in for doors, those sorts of work. So a lot of times 50s are great for enamel or um, water-based enamel jobs. 
again, people get a little bit scared doing trims with a 50. So I do recommend, and again, I, I really do like Monarch. <laughs> I do recommend that you go slightly smaller just to get your hand in first. And it also allows you to give you good little, um, give you control in the corners a little bit nicer with a 38 mil. So 38 mil, that's the one you want there. So here's the side by side, 38 to a 50. Can you see it's much wider? But again, compared to a 75, no big difference. Some people even use 75 to do um, trims. Unless you are experienced, I probably would stay away from using a 75. Your corners are going to be uh, a little bit tricky to do with these ones. And um, yeah, just it's all about control. So I would stick to a 50. Or if you're still, if you're really new, um, a 38. Okay. One last thing, cheap brushes. Okay. Cheap brushes do have their purpose. For example, um, staining. You really not really worried about uh, brush brush marks too much because the stain spreads or uh, or the oils or varnishes they spread across the the um, surface. So you don't have to worry about brush lines. So some brushes that are cheaper are fine for that but for painting walls you want to get rid of brush lines and I'll show you what the difference is so here you can see this is a I think they're a dollar fifty little touch-up brush and here is a um, five four five dollar touch-up brush so the big difference is um, the end and I can't really show you on the video too much but what you end up with is on a cheap brush the bristles are really spread out like this so you can't really do touching up with white bristles okay the, it doesn't you can't show it doesn't spread the bristles don't spread anywhere near as nicely as, as um see how the bristles you can see you can actually see it spreading nicely like this it, very smooth this one is it, it's it sticks there and it doesn't work so when there's paint on the brush um, you can really see the difference. So, to sum up, I would not worry about spending too much money. Ten dollar, three inch, seventy five mil um, sash brush. You can buy these in a wall handle as well. And I would go with a thirty eight mil little um, trim brush. And I would spend at least five, six dollars on a little touch-up um, brush that you will probably need um, later. Enjoy your painting.